XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and you wanna figure out how everything got this far, then I suggest you go on ahead and subscribe, check out my socials. Today we're gonna to be having a very fantastic time. Well, I think it's a fantastic time in which I show you uh, my JD Glow, all of my JD Glow shadows. I didn't realize I had so many. Um, sometimes I think that I ordered enough so that they all fit into the, the palette. Any who's we're going to be going through each and every one with some mediocre swatches and mediocre content, so you should subscribe. All right, y'all. On to past me. On to past me. <laughs> First, we have Chartreuse, which is this lovely green. I think it has like a little bit of a lime factor to it if you're just looking at it but realistically honestly I think that once it's swatched you can see that it has a little bit of depth so that's like it on my finger I'm giving you a lot of natural light today <laughs> all right and then that is her I think that it could be like this one has a little bit more gold in it and I don't know if you're getting to see some of that gold but this one has definitely more gold than anything else um, it's got that green gold base and so I think it's a really nice shade to pair with my next color lemonade which is just a glorious yellow this is so impactful it has just such a pretty fun life I feel like every time I wear this, it's like, yes, bitch, have your best day. Uh, paint your fingernails. Yes, I know mine aren't painted because I'm not wearing the shade. Hello. And here she is swatched. Now you can kind of see a little bit more about what I'm talking about when I talk about like pairing it with like a yellow. It does have a little bit of a silver reflect on deeper skin, but it's still really pretty. Not the, not the yellow shade, but like the gray and the chartreuse. Um, I really like both of these. I think that they're very pretty. These are from the Metallon, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Metallon, Metallon, let's just leave it alone. Let's call the whole thing up. Badoop. Okay, sorry. Anyway, the, that's the two of them here, and I really like them. I love JD Glow um, shadows. The next one we're going to get is gonna be one of their fa fabuloso, crunchy, crunchy, the things that make everybody swoon. Okay, we have the golden goodness, the golden bronzy goodness. It's almost like a silver, like a coin. It reminds me of like an old school coin, you know what I mean? Like in like um, Drake's Fortune, <laughs> in all the Drake's Fortune Uncharted games. Like this reminds me of like a doubloon that they found or some shit. Uh, this is Hey Poppy. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Hey Poppy and swatch that so you can see. This is a crunchy one. This is Metallon as well. However, it does, it is a bit chunkier in its formula. There we go. All right, let's swatch it. Ooh, bitch, okay, wait a minute. So one of the things I love about this, this does have more of a like a silvery white base, but one of the things I love about this is how it very much complements a deeper skin tone. And what I mean by that is like in the light, right? You can see that it looks like very, very bright. You can see the silver underneath it. But as soon as you have it on just like normal stilos, it gives like glow, but it's also more subtle than you think that it is. Like obviously I got it for the shine and the gorgeousness to show y'all like, ah, but yeah. All right, next we're gonna take a little walk onto the Galaxy Collection side, which is with Good God. This is gonna be one of those fairy shades, and I call it—I call all of these kind of um, uh, luminescent kind of shades. I call them all fairy shades because they very much give you like fairy life, fairy love. Let me see if I can get it to focus up close. There we go. Fairy shade, yes. All right, please beware that these will also be a much thicker formula, far more crumbly, 
far more crumbly. This one has lilac and blue in it. And I'm trying to make sure that I show it, show it to you this way so you could actually see the varying shifts in it. My hands are so veiny. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you can see it right next to it. It's got like a lilac and a blue in it, obviously with a white base. But this is really pretty, again, when you're trying to do like that gorgeous fairy look, have that opalescence, there you go. Also, look at my big hand veins. Another from the Galaxy collection is going to be Fairy Acid, which is, you know, exactly what its name says that it is. It's very... This one, I feel like, has more of a blue gold in it and not near as much lilac, but we'll see if I'm right. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can show this to you up close. All right. Yeah, this is going to have more of that blue gold, like that acid wash jean feel. So I just really like this shade when I'm trying to do something a little different, pop it on top of something, or pop something on top of it. I like to put this on top of golds and yellows. Y'all, these birds are like legit having the time of their lives outside. I put out new nuts and they're just like standing on the wall and shit, being just doing weird bird shit. Moving on, <laughs> let's go to the next shade. Also from the Galaxy Collection is gonna be Watermark. This really does look like mermaid like that's the only way I can truly that's the only way that I can really describe the shade is like a mermaid there we go it's got a lot of mermaid love going on is that like a teddy bear face in there anyways now this is definitely that like I mean fucking business I'm going out like Yes, come get me, come hither. This does have a little bit of purple in it. Again, most blue shades will, but this kind of has like a little bit of a turquoise feel, but you can see a little bit of the purple on it. It's really nice. And it's gonna have a lot of reflect, so. If you wanted to do something, you know, Halloween's coming. I know, you're like, Audra, it's, it's not, it's coming. So, these are really good shadows for that. <laughs> Now we're going to go into the Shimmer Collection with Rendezvous. I don't have these in any particular order. I'm literally just showing them to you. But this is Rendezvous, which you can see I dug into one time. This is going to be more of that, like, blue-blue. That's more than likely going to have a pretty deep purple base on it. But this is going to be that blue-blue-blue. Yeah, this is the blue-blue-blue-blue-blue-blue-blue. That's the only way I can describe it. That's when you're, like, going, going down. <laughs> Not down there, don't get weird. All right, here we go. So this is stunning. I love to use this shade at any opportunity. Like any, any chance I get to throw this blue on, babes, you better believe I'm gonna be there. Like I love this. I was wearing the hell out of it when I first got it uh, and just couldn't seem to stop myself from throwing it onto my eyes because it's just such a beautiful blue. And it just does all the things. Like it gives you all the good feelings, but it's a really pretty true blue, especially for like deeper skin tones really nice true blue I think this is one of the truest blues that I have and then sliding back into galaxy we have anomaly which is a lavender shade these galaxy shadows do have a shift on them and you can see it in the mirror because if you're looking at the difference between one side and the next one side uh, you can definitely tell like the more white base and then the other side you can see that it's purple so that's kind of what I wanted to be able to show you <laughs> Oh, bitch. Yes. Okay. So this is, I keep forgetting how much I absolutely love this. Look at her. Just giving, giving. She is giving. So like here you can see, I'm going to pause right here so you can see on one side we have like the gold reflect. On the other you can see the blue. So this is why I wanted to try this mirror technique. So you could actually see the varying shifts 
in the shades and see like, oh, there's purple and there's blue. This is one of those like fairy acid shades to me. Like this looks like if you have deeper skin, like, and you're looking for that goth fairy look, like, yes, say no more, you have found it. That's it for round one. Let me go wash my hands. We'll be back for round two. All right, we are back. You might be able to hear Bo doing his chewy chew chew thing and it's time for him to eat, so deal with it. Now, JD Glow's Unexpected uh, from their Galaxy Collection is fabulous. This is gonna have pink, green, and gold in it. And it's just a very beautiful, gorgeous shade. Like, and the pans are big. I, 35 millimeter pans. So the thing about these is, I know you're thinking to yourself, like, why would I get so many of them in the pan? But you can do so much with them. Highlighters, um, if you want to turn yourself into a robot, <laughs> which Millie from Bad to the Brow has done. Like, there's so many things you can do with them, but most importantly, they're like really pretty. So if you like to just have shiny, pretty things, here you go. Now this shade is super soft, so what you do not want to do is go in too hard uh, unless you want to, but the first time you play with it, you kind of don't want to get a little a little nutty, all right? Here we go. This is yet another one of these gorgeous, like almost translucent on deeper skin. Hello, baby boy canary. See you out there with your sisters. All right. <laughs> and it's going to give you that ethereal look. Like, you know Mia from Mia's Virtual Vanity? Like, this is like, you know how they always look just stunning and ethereal and fairy-like from the realm of fairy? Like, this is gonna give that to you. It's gonna have um, the blue, it's gonna have so a little bit of pink, it's going to have gold. So you will see like a little bit of purple, but it's not enough, you know what I mean? It's not enough to dominate like some of the other ones did. Next up we have Prismatic, which is another gorgeous shade from the Galaxy Collection. A beautiful green, we all know I cannot resist a good green bow. Keep your lips off my fingers. So I'm gonna see if it will let me pull this way. There we go. So that is her up close. And she really is doing her model best to be a beautiful green. Now she is going to have undercurrents of blue in her and maybe a little bit of purple. And I know it's probably fuzzy, but like, <sighs> I will get better. I always say that and then I don't get better. So maybe I won't get better. Who gives a shit? <laughs> All right, so here we are with the light, natural light, and now you can kind of see what it is I'm talking about. Green with some blues in there, just stunning. It's got like this beautiful turquoise base. So you have your green, but you know what you can pair it with. You could actually pair it with the shade right next to it. What? Just slap the shit right on top. Yeah, that's right, babes. I got weird, and you should expect that from me by now. Lovely. Next in the Galaxy Collection, we have Plum, which I have a thing for like la lavender shades. And I think it's because on deep skin, it can just look fucking stunning. Like a gorgeous lavender shade can just do the absolute most for you. And just like kind of give you like a very alien vibe and I'm down with it. Okay, here we go with the swatches. See how pretty she is? I think I might do a look with that. I enjoy doing the little looks with it, but, and this will be my second one. I don't think the first video has gone up yet, so if y'all don't like it when I do the look, just like leave a um, octopus. Maybe, is there an octopus? If not an octopus, a turtle. Thanks. But that's just a really pretty lavender shade. Got It has a little bit of a gold reflect on it. A little bit of gold in there, so you can mix this with, you know, uh, pair it with gold. You can also pair it with pink, obvi, because it's got a little bit of a rosy tone left on there. This galaxy shade, Peacock, has been, like, 
Uh, I remember I wore this, I believe, on the panel uh, for Gen Love last year, I believe. I wore this shade. I felt like the baddest bitch in town. And that was when I still thought, like, I'm terrible at makeup. And then I just, like, created this gorgeous look with this. So this is going to be a blue purpley um, shade. It's very beautiful. Woo, came in hot, coming in hot. All right, so, oh gosh, y'all look at that. Now do y'all see, if you don't have JD Glow, now do y'all see why people like rave about it? This is such a be beautiful shade. It just has like so much that you can do with it. You can literally put it with almost any shade that JD Glow has and it's gonna look stunning. You could do it with orange, which I have done. You could do it with the purple. You can see that like it being next to the purple, stunning. You could do it next to the greens. Like what? Yes, yes, I want it all. Okay, next up. All right, from the metal on, we now have Sapphire, which is a nether blue. This is the one that I was thinking of that has more of the purple. I, I mixed it up, but this is the one that's gonna have more purple. And you can definitely see that kind of as I shift it. Um, I'm trying to get my other hand out of here, out of the frame, so that it will focus on this. Just really pretty. Really pretty, really nice. And quick note about the JD Glow formula is it's very, like, soft and velvety. So, you see what I'm talking about? Ugh. That is, like, that's royalty right there. That's when you're hitting that royal blue where you're like, what? Say something, I dare you. You know, <laughs> if I could say something when I got this on, I dare you. I dare you with my entire heart, right? Yes, no, maybe. Limelight from the Metal Metalon, Metalon. I'm, I'm gonna just say it however I want to and we're gonna move forward. But this one, listen, it's so easy to get fucked up using this. <laughs> I mean that the nicest way possible, but it's like, it is so chunky, but it's funky. Still chunky, but funky. All right, yeah. I didn't want to focus. We're gonna live, move past it. So this is gonna be a goldy kind of green. Like it's it's got like a nice green in there, but it's gold. Does that make sense? A gold with green base. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can see it next to here. Uh, it's just like it's too much for like any good person <laughs> that's why you have to be bad you're welcome I hope you're enjoying yes next we have Bora Bora from the Galaxy Collection. This is gonna be a very lovely, like light sea green, like sea blue. It's like that green blue shade of the ocean that just gives you like all the feels and makes you kind of wanna like go on vacation, which you deserve, take it. Oh no, I like this one too and I wanna play with it. I haven't played in so long. It's got the like gold underneath. So let's see if I can catch a little bit of that gold, but it does have gold underneath and it's really going to give you a run for your motherfuck money. I'm so sorry, but it is. It's just very pretty. This is one of those shades that makes you like believe in love and magic, okay? At least I did anyway, thanks. But don't, don't be weird about it. From the Metallon, we have Volcano, which is one of my all-time favorite shades from them. There is just something glorious about this, like, red-orange shade. It looks like fucking Mars, you know what I mean? Like, this is Mars, and it just gives all. It gives all. It, like, we didn't even deserve this, but here it is. Like, did we deserve this? Um, no. Did we get it? Yes. And it's so satiny. All right, here you go. Prepare yourself. I know. I know. so hard to swatch with your pinky. All right, here you go. This is like that shade that like, you just put this all over your eye and then like put a little other shit on top of or around it. And you use it for your, um, wa not your waterline, but you put it underneath, you put it everywhere. You put it all over your face because you are a queen. Ugh, that's it. All right, that's it for this round. We shall return with more. Let's just show them off. Pay no attention to the super weird song. 
Next up we have Bestie, which is part of the Galaxy Collection. You can see that this is gonna be a fun, shimmery, sparkly gold orange. Gold orange, I see you in the light. Okay, that got weird. Okay, so I'm gonna turn up this way so you can see what's happening here. So here it's just like kind of orange and like whatever, but then bam, sparkle orange, sparkle orange with reflect. Can you see it? Can you feel it? I'm sorry, listen, also no I am not. Uh, but yeah, here's that sparkle up close. Uh, did I do it? I did it, I did a little bit. It's like fire. It literally to me looks like fire. Like if you could paint fire this is what it would look like. I mean, people can paint fire, but still. Here is Inferno from the Shimmer Collection. I have always kept it right next to Bestie because I tend to use them together. If you hadn't noticed, I really like a good orange, so. And that's the world we're living in. Let it get the sunlight. Bernt, Bernt. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is gonna be, oop. So this is gonna be more of a lighter orange. It's very pretty, let me bring bring her here. Very pretty, quite nice. I don't know why I haven't been bringing any of the other ones up. I think because I am a clown. So anyways, this is it. Very nice, very lovely. And it's just doing like a lot of good shit. Like I like that it's just orange, like a goldy base and it's just like orange, has a little bit of shift but tons of reflect. But if you want to show off your big veins, um, with an orange, then this is the way to go. And I love a true beautiful orange. Especially on deep skin. So then we're ha going with AKA in the Galaxy Collection, which is just like this really pretty, kind of pinky, fun shade. It's gonna have some, it looks like a little bit of blue in it. I had to turn it so I could see it. But it looks like it does have a little bit of blue in there. Uh, obviously there's some gold. It looks to have a white base. So here, here we go. And to keep, oh, yes. Okay, hold up now. This is so pretty. Look at that, look at her being, she has no right, no right to be so pretty. And it's more of a silvery, we're gonna call that more of a silvery base. But look, and you can see a little tiny bit of the blue that like lives in there. You have to really be paying attention, but I see it because of who I am as a person. So yeah, yeah, you're gonna have reflect, obviously. All of these are gonna give you reflect. That's right there where you can see some of the blue. Okay. I have had many missteps with this, but this is insane from the Galaxy Collection. And this is another one of those like gorgeous lavender shades. It's gonna be doing way too much, but like, just if you don't want it to do too much, then do something else. Like a lot of the JD Glow shimmers to me very much give like these ones here. This this is one of my favorite fairy glow. Fairy, fairy glow. Look at me. Shine bright like a diamond. So shine bright tonight. You and I. Okay, I'm done being weird. Not really, but like, I absolutely adore this one. It is gonna have that more gray, like white base, but gee bus, cheese and crackers, cheese and rice, it's gorgeous. It's like giving you all of the things. It's got the blue, purple, teensy, teensy bit of pink in it, but obviously whatever you pair it with, it's gonna take that on, so. That's this hand, that is my Wolverine hand. My adamantium silk claws will be busting out at a later date and time. Maybe not today. All right, so these are the newest to my collection that I have not been able to do a look with. So <laughs> we have Sprung, which obviously I got because it's just like a gorgeous pink. And I'm kind of into this like cyber goth sensation that I've been doing lately. And uh, yes, yeah, so I wanted to have this. I, I wanted to have this, y'all. <laughs> oh, we got weirder. Yes, I got one to focus immediately. This is Barbie Pink. It's gorgeous. It's Barbie Pink, it's fucking gorgeous. Yes. Ah, uh, it's got like, when you kind of flip back, it gets a little bit more lilac. 
but it is Barbie pink. Ugh, look at that. I tell your mama, I tell your friends. Okay, from the Galaxy Collection, we have Opal, which is going to be another one of these like luminescent, opalescent type shades. And this one is going, it looks like it's gonna be blue and pink in nature. And it's like, oh, did you have enough shades like this? No. So this is why I like these, cause, oh, look how bright it is. You can use it as a highlighter. <laughs> I thought it was gonna do something like this. It's mostly got like a, the blue green in it. But it's like, here's the thing, on the hand it's like, obviously, but when you put it on, I feel like this is gonna be one of those shades that you can just like swipe on the eye for just like a little bit of attitude, but if you don't want to like, you know what I mean? You wanna have a little bit of attitude, but you just don't wanna do like a whole look, you just do this and a badass wing, and you're like, bye, yes. And I know you're gonna be like, Audra, isn't that the same as the other two lavender shades that you showed? No, because this one is actually called Lavender, so I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Thank you. It is obviously Lavender. There's no other way for me to explain it. It does look like it has um, a silvery base, so we're gonna see. Oh, bitch. Okay, it does have a silvery base, and I got these, again, I'm doing like my little cyberpunk good time, so I feel like I just really wanted something to like show that off. Yes, bitch. Gorgeousness. This is one of their new shades from the Galaxy Collection, which is Lemon Lime, which uh, Emily, that's Emily's fault. I started, I didn't even care about it for a second and then Emily was gagging over it and because I am a sympathy friend, I love it. I love it too, so let's see. Oh, hell. I think I might be using like my new shades more than anything else, but we'll see. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. So that's really pretty. I'm gonna see if it wants to focus when I bring my hand up. I'm gonna drop it down here, which isn't the same, but it is what it is. I try to do this with natural light because I just think that it's really pretty to be able to like see shiny shimmery goodness in the sunlight you know what i mean all right and finally i cannot resist a good red and this is from the metallon and this is ruby so i'm always looking for like a stunning red shades i love them i like to look like a dark goth alien um from whatever planet that i have decided that i am from that day uh it's too pretty. I had to swatch with my thumb because like this is the last shade, so I didn't want to go wash, but like, oh gosh, gosh. Did I get it a little bit in the other shade? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. It's fucking true red. Like I found it. <laughs> ah, the joy I have right now. Yes, beaches. Okay, this is it. These are the last JD Glow shades I have. Stay tuned and we will be doing a quick bowl. Look, I hope you enjoyed this bit of the swatch party. I hope you'll enjoy these swatch videos. Okay. I feel weird now and I don't know how to say goodbye, so. <clears throat> goodbye.
And that's the that on that, I guess. <laughs> Y'all know I can't do anything half-assed. I mean, I can, but like, I'm not doing it today. So anyway, I just wanted to show you, I hope you had some fun playing around with me, playing around with, that sounded awkward. But anyway, yeah, I hope you had fun playing around with me. Maybe you did, who knows? <laughs> anyway, those were my JD Glow shadows. I'm having so much fun doing this. I'm not going to get better. I'm gonna stop saying I'm gonna get better. So then that way when I do, you'll just be magically surprised. All right, that's it. If you would, do me a flavor. Give this video a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can continue pushing me further down into the algorithm so that I can continue to do what? Whatever the fuck I want. And as usual, huge shout out. Out to my patrons and spooky bays, yeah. Thank you so much for everything y'all do. I've been having so much fun at our movie nights. Such a good time. I love our weekly streams. Sorry I haven't been there, but those are back up if I have, whenever I'm filming this and whenever it goes up are two different things. But I've been enjoying all the time that we've been spending it together and if it weren't for y'all, I would not be able to keep the bats in the belfry and the spiders firmly ensconced in their webs. All right, y'all, you know the drill. It costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, apparently my pixie goth ass is sure as fuck coming for yours. Until next time, XOXO, <laughs> got the girl. Stop, I don't know why you act up. The second I start talking, that was a fun reel we just made, babes. These little shitheads like, are you talking? Are you talking? Talking to me? That was fun. Why are you looking sad? Good morrow and welcome. Oh, that was like, <laughs> I was like, I am. <laughs> Messages. I'm not sure how you got here, but Bo, you better put that goddamn shoe down before I knock you out. Why are you looking sad? There's no reason to be sad. I'm coming. <laughs>